Hello to everyone in our extended community. Uh, I'm very pleased to extend this greeting to our new students who are joining us for the first time this term with Xenda, and also to welcome back our returning students. Today I'm joining you from the Xenda School of Management campus located here in downtown Vancouver. Uh, I want to extend a very special acknowledgement uh, that uh, our campus is located on the traditional ancestral and unceded territories of the Squamish, Tsleil-Waututh and Musqueam First Nations. As we have been preparing for the return to campus, uh, we are getting uh, our staff, our faculty and of course our facilities ready to accommodate the return of students. Uh, this includes the preparation of the classrooms, uh, but also we have done some upgrades to our internet uh, service here at the campus uh, and uh, to expand for a faster and more efficient uh, internet service. In British Columbia now, we're seeing uh, a re drastic reduction in the number of cases of COVID. Our vaccination rates are amongst the uh, highest in the world. And uh, we are beginning to see indicators that the borders are going to be reopening and things will be returning to normal. Uh, those of you who are in Vancouver will see that the uh, uh, economy is beginning to open up. There's new job opportunities uh, available now for students. So it is, there is a great, uh, a great deal of optimism, as I mentioned, uh, about the future right now. Uh, we recognize that many of our students are still overseas and uh, we are looking forward to you uh, coming to Canada and thank you for uh, joining us during these, uh, this challenging time. Uh, right now, this term, we're going to continue to offer our courses online throughout the term, but we are also preparing for the eventual transition back to campus in October. Uh, in October, our plan is to offer approximately 50% of our courses uh, in a face-to-face -face, uh, model uh, here at the Xenda campus. Uh, we will continue to expand the number of courses to 75% of the courses in January and up to approximately 90% by April. Uh, we will continue to offer courses online uh, for the convenience of students that are not able to be here at the campus. And the classrooms will also be set up in a hybrid, uh, to accommodate hybrid learning as well, which means that there will be cameras in the classes that will be projecting the, uh, the lectures and the um, uh, lessons uh, from, from the extended campus here. Uh, further details will be coming out about the actual schedules in the upcoming weeks when registration opens for Term 4. I'm also very pleased to uh, announce that we are continuing with our career coaching program. Uh, we have been offering the uh, program to students and alumni over the past uh, two terms and uh, we've had some very successful results and that will uh, be continuing uh, throughout next year. So please watch for opportunities that uh, you can uh, participate in the program. This is a, uh, an opportunity for senior students and our alumni to uh, receive one-on-one -on -one, uh, career coaching uh, to help with your job placement. As you know, Exenda puts a very high value on the role of student leadership in our Exenda community. Uh, this comes from our student ambassadors, our student government, our club leaders, and also through our tutors, plus the many ways that our students are involved in the community in providing service and support to others. And I'm very pleased to announce that we will be introducing a new scholarship for student uh, leadership and community service. And that will be uh, recognized at our next award ceremony and further details will be coming out in the weeks ahead. I also want to extend a very special congratulations to our students who are completing their program with Exenda uh, this past term. We have uh, from term two, 78 graduates, which uh, makes up our largest uh, class of graduates in one term. They will be joining uh, approximately uh, 300 students who will uh, be uh, recognized uh, for our, at our convocation ceremony. And we are planning to hold the convocation ceremony in person in November on uh, the tentative date right now is November the 12th and it will be held in the afternoon. Uh, further details will be confirmed uh, over the next few weeks. 
Uh, and I'm, but I'm very, very pleased that we'll be able to celebrate uh, our graduates uh, with our graduates at Convocation in person once again. So congratulations and uh, for everyone's outstanding achievement over the past, uh, uh, their past terms with Xenda. I want to wish everyone a very successful term and I look forward to October and the opportunity to see everyone in person once again. Until then, we'll look forward to keeping in touch virtually. Uh, and I also wanted to remind everyone that I will be holding a monthly meeting uh, on the last Wednesday uh, of the month. And uh, that will be an opportunity if you have any questions that you would like to ask me directly. Please watch for the notices from the Student Services Department. And I look forward to the opportunity to talk to you then. All the best and good luck for the term. Thank you.